In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 28, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Marlins vs. Cincinnati Reds The Miami Marlins and the Cincinnati Reds wrap up their four-game series in Cincinnati on Thursday afternoon. The Marlins are entrenched in fourth place in the National League East but under a half dozen games behind the third-place Phillies. As for Cincinnati, the Reds continue their season-long improvement and are suddenly well within range of Pittsburgh for fourth place in the National League Central Division. The pitching matchup for Thursday's finale will feature Reds' righty Graham Ashcraft while the Marlins have yet to name a starter. It could be righty Edward Cabrera who has not pitched in the majors since June 12 due to injury. The Reds are 1-5 in their last six during game four of a series. The over is 4-0 in Ashcraft's last four home starts. The under is 4-1 in the Reds' last five during game four of a series. The under is 5-1 in the Reds' last six home games against a team with a losing record. Both starting pitchers are extremely young as both are still classified as rookies as this is the second time in the series that Jordan Holloway is on the mound and struggled a little bit in that game allowing bass runners. Compared to Graham Ashcraft, he has a 3-1 record with a 3.34 home ERI in six games. Looking at the offenses during the last 15 days, there is no bigger difference as the Marlins are averaging 2.45 runs per game in their last 11 games, while the Reds are scoring 5.44 runs per game in their previous nine games. I get the case to be made for the Marlins here, as Ashcraft hasn't been the sharpest in his last couple of home appearances. But the reality here is that the Marlins don't score enough to make the Reds pay for those mistakes. The Marlins' bats have also been ice cold heading into this game, and they are only averaging four runs per game. I expect the Marlins' bats are going to be ice cold in this game as well, and that will be the difference as the Reds get the job done. Cincinnati will come alive in Wednesday's affair, so the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full game side pick. The Reds have played to the over in six of their last ten games outright. In three of the last four games started by Ashcraft, the Reds have played to the over as well. In addition, the Reds are 6-2-1 to, to, to the over in their last 10 home games. At home, the Reds are hitting .251 and averaging 5.1 runs per game. While the Marlins have struggled to produce runs recently, they will be facing a Reds team that allows 5.4 runs per game themselves. Both starting pitchers are not looked at as doing well and both Holloway and Ashcraft are not top-of-the-line starters at this point in their careers. Getting the runner to score from third base with less than two outs is critical as sacrifice sacrifice flies at a lot of runs. Miami is tied for 14th in the majors with 25 sack flies while Cincinnati is tied for 17th with 24 sack flies this year. Both bullpens have been struggling this year as the Marlins are 17th in the majors with a 4.01 bullpen ERI while the Reds are dead last in the sport with a 5.2 reliever ERI so far. I expect a high scoring close to this series. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. New York Yankees The Kansas City Royals take on the New York Yankees in the first of a four-game American League series on Thursday evening. The Royals will have Brady Singer on the hill. The Yankees give the nod to Jameson Talon looking to rebound from a poor outing. The Yankees lead the season series 3-0. The Royals are 1-4 in their last five road games and 7-3 in their last 10 games on grass. The Yankees are 41-14 in their last 55 home games and 59-26 in their last 85 over Overall. The under is 4-0 in Royals' last four overall. The over is 14-3 in Yankees' last 17 overall. The Royals are 19-57 in the last 76 meetings in New York and 44-102 in the last 146 meetings. Brady Singer has been solid this season, and that includes a 2.66 ERI in his last 23.2 innings. The issue here are the Royals have issues scoring runs at times, and now they just traded away their best hitter in Andrew Benintendi to the Yankees. The New York Yankees are due for a bounce-back performance after a sluggish start to the second half, and Jameson Talon has had nothing but success this season. This is an excellent spot for Yankees starter Jameson Talon to rebound with a strong outing. Plus, the Yankees rarely lose at home 
featuring a stunning 37-12 record this season. So the New York Yankees to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Yankees' offense has been a juggernaut all season and still rings true in the last 15 days. They rank top 5 in OPS and OBP in that time frame, which will help them as Royal starter. Singer has seen his WHIP increase a little this month. They also rank second in runs scored in the last 15 days as well. The Yankees were averaging 6.6 .6 runs per game in the 10 games leading up to their series with the Mets. The good offensive stats of the Royals haven't turned into runs, but against Yankees starter Talon, expect regression towards the positive. The Royals will likely not score several runs but will contribute to this total as Talon will contain them. Overall, he is having trouble keeping opponents in check recently, posting a horrible 6.6 .6 ERI this month. In addition, the Yankees' offense continues to dazzle in most games as they lead the way in home runs. They have scored five or more runs in four out of their last five home games and should generate late runs against a poor bullpen that ranks 27th overall. The over is also a perfect 5-0 in the Yankees' last five home games. With Taylor's slip in July as well as the Royals being a borderline top 10 offense in the last 15 days, the runs will come. Expect a higher scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. Pittsburgh Pirates and state rivals will begin a four-game series on Thursday night when the Philadelphia Phillies visit the Pittsburgh Pirates at PNC Park. Philadelphia is coming off a huge series win over the Atlanta Braves capped by a 7-2 win in Wednesday's rubber game as a plus-126 underdog improving to 51 to 47 on the season. Pittsburgh enters with a record of 40 to 58 after suffering a two-game sweep at the hands of the Chicago Cubs, including a 4 to 2 loss on Tuesday as a plus 175 underdog. This was a competitive head-to-head -head matchup last year with the Phillies winning the season series 4 to 3. The Philadelphia Phillies are 6 to 0 in their last 6 Thursday games and are 4 to 1 in their last 5 when their opponent scores 2 runs or less in their previous game. The Phillies are also 15 to 5 in their last 20 after scoring 5 runs or more in their previous game. The Pirates are 2 to 5 in their last 7 after scoring 2 runs or less in their previous game and are 2 to 5 in their last 7 games following a loss. The Pirates are also 5 to 16 in their last 21 games following an off day. The Pirates come into this series having had a day off and they are home while the Phillies had to play Wednesday and make the trip to the other end of the state. But all that won't help the Pirates here because the Phillies are a superior team and more importantly they have the better pitcher on the mound. Wheeler has been great this season and he is coming off a hard luck no decision where he pitched great and the bullpen gave it away. That won't happen here against the light hitting Pirates. Wheeler put up a rough start versus Toronto back on July 13th with six earned on seven hits and a walk in 4.2 innings during a loss. He bounced back well in his last outing with one earned in seven innings. However, as for Thompson, he gave up seven earned in 5.1 frames to the Marlins his last time out but should post a decent line in this one. Overall, I think it's the Phillies game today. The Phillies need to win series against lesser teams to stay in the wildcard hunt and they'll take care of business here. So the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. While the Phillies lineup should be able to support Wheeler, he should also do his part in living up to the title of the team's ace. The Pirates have the third worst team OPS and have scored the third fewest runs in the league. They're also the sixth lowest scoring team at home, where this series will be. PNC Park in Pittsburgh ranks 21st for overall runs and 27th for home runs. That's even more detrimental for these lineups specifically, as they are rather dependent on their home run power. The Pirates have become more reliant on youngster 1-0 Cruz ever since Reynolds went on the injured list. Although he's back, their lineup simply does doesn't have the depth. Similarly, the Phillies have the power of Schwarber leading off their lineup, but they haven't been quite as consistent since the All-Star break overall. Even their big offseason acquisition of Nick Castellanos has gotten booed at home recently. The Phillies have been a solid but far from elite offense with a 102 WRC plus on the season, and Pittsburgh doesn't offer the same hitter-friendly conditions as their home park. An even bigger problem for the Phillies is the absences of Harper and Segura leave some holes in the lineup. Wheeler tends to go deep into games, and the Phillies' bullpen has been surprisingly respectable with the 12th best ERI in baseball, as the Pirates can't be counted on to contribute anything. With Wheeler having just one of his last six starts in with more than eight runs, this game be a low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video,
and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.